Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. All right, you guys, so the tutorial I have for you today was not my idea. I came across this fun little one on TikTok. Um, she didn't actually show her process, but um, I figured it out on my own. So this tumbler that you see here was created using mesh from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so it's just like um, spider web mesh, sparkly gold, they have it in orange, and I think they might have it in purple as well. But this was just a really fun one. Um, I learned a little bit along the way, so you wanna watch the whole video. If you decide to try this, you know, make sure you pay attention to my do's and don'ts. But anyways, if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I drop Tumblr tutorials every Sunday and Thursday at 6 a.m. And if you are a regular, welcome back. I really appreciate you watching. But anyways, just stay tuned, follow along, and I'll walk you through the steps and show you how I created mine. All right, so here I've got my sanded and prepped 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow, and I am applying one coat of the black gloss from the Crystal Lack store. And I'm applying it fairly generous because now I'm using Obsidian from Glitter and Grand and just dumping that right over that fresh coat of paint. So I, you know, glittered this last night and honestly, I probably could have just gotten away with black paint but I thought it'd be cool to add just a little extra sparkle to the cup. And now I'm just sealing up my glitter with my Crystal Lax glitter glue. I just thought this was such a cute idea. And like I mentioned earlier, I saw this on TikTok. So I thought it would be fun to give it a try. I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mesh or tool. It's almost like a um, glittery tool. I should have opened this before, but it's from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness. Get it open. Lessons learned for sure, definitely measure and cut before applying it to the tumbler. Okay, so now that I have it on there, I am just coating it with glitter glue to help seal it and hold it in place. Now then, while that glitter glue is still wet, I am just gonna use this um, Golden Oats, and I get this from Bailey at Witchcrafts, and I'm just gonna be sprinkling it on my um, seam there, as you can see, just around the bottom. And then um, I don't want it to be super heavy, just really light. And then I'm gonna put some up around the top lip of the cup. Again, not super heavy, just, just light enough to um, add a little extra sparkle and hide seams. Be sure to check the description below because I will have a coupon for you for 10% off of this glitter or any glitter that you purchase from Bailey. I always like to wipe away the chunks at the top. That way it's a little easier when it comes to, um, you know, moving on with the tumbler. Stream from the tool. So, okay, I think that's gonna be really cute. And um, it's starting to, you know, like bubble just a little bit, it looks like. But, I think I will most likely, you know, be doing a couple more layers or another layer of glitter glue after this is all dry and I will smush it down too eventually after that next layer that is. 
And here I am smushing it. And basically you just grab some parchment paper and roll your tumbler in it. I actually did this a little too early and it stuck to the parchment paper and I had to add just a little extra glitter back on it. Um, and then I sealed it one more time with the glitter glue. So I was finally able to move on to my bright tone layers. Um, I did, you know, struggle a little bit with that mesh and trying to get it to lay down. And, you know, it's probably because I didn't apply enough glitter glue in the first place whenever I was applying the mesh. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something I would do different next time. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you that I just finished doing a level sand on this and all those white spots were high spots. Um, I'm gonna recommend if you make one of these tumblers using this mesh or tool, whatever you wanna call it, um, you definitely wanna make sure that you have enough glitter glue on the tumbler from the get-go to put your mesh on top of. If you go back and look um, at the beginning of this video where I was applying the mesh to the tumbler, um, it wasn't super sticky and sticking to my glitter glue because that glitter glue starts to dry really fast when it's thin layers and I just really didn't have a thick enough layer. So um, I think when I put my layers of glitter glue on top of the mesh, to seal it, it just allowed it to kind of pucker, as you can see. And yes, glitter glue got down underneath there and it was stuck to the tumbler, no doubt. But um, I think I could have avoided that had I put a more generous layer of glitter glue on first and then immediately got my mesh stuck down to it. But anyways, all those white spots are freshly sanded spots and um, so now then I'm just gonna go ahead and put another layer of bright tone on to help level it out. And then hopefully I'll be able to move on to my vinyl decal pretty quick. So I found this cute little design in Cricut Design Space. It already had the offset or shadow behind it. So I'm just cutting those out with um, two different kinds of vinyl. Once I got my vinyl on the tumbler, I just continued on with my bright tone layers. And for some reason or another, I did not record any of that, but that's okay. Um, you guys, if anyone ever doubts the shine of bright tone, well, let me just say, show them this Templar right here because this shine is absolutely incredible. I am just literally standing outside in the sunshine and being blinded by the reflection here. Um, it turned out so smooth, so shiny, so sparkly, and I just think this was a great idea. Something a little different than just vinyl or paper or um, you know the normal things we use on tumblers. I really do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you will be encouraged to give the mesh a try. Um, I'm going to drop the original idea TikTok person in the comments below so you can go check out her TikTok. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and be on the lookout for future Tumblr tutorial notifications.